So the New Testament's unity does not consist in retelling the story in identical terms over and over again. Right. Instead, it uh, weaves together diverse scenes, events, uh, perspectives in its uh, presentation of Jesus. Uh, the early church, for its part, viewed the diversity of the New Testament documents as an advantage yeah, rather than a liability. Yeah, right? yeah especially if you look at uh, um, uh, Dr. Keith Small, who uh, is sadly no longer with us. Um, he, he wrote about um, kind of the, the early view of of um, the Quran and its uh, pre Uthmanic uh, revision, which Uthman collected all these texts and essentially made one text out of them, and then said this is the one to go with and burned all the rest. Mm. Well, um, uh, that's that's hard to kind of draw. Okay, are we sure that these are the words? Because what were the the early uh, versions of the yeah, Quran? Yeah, what were like? the rest of them? Yeah, yeah. what did they so, look like? So, yeah. so this diversity of texts is actually a strength, especially. Again, once you get into textual criticism and, and understanding that the the flaws in, in the translation, not 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 the originals themselves, but in the translation process, actually um, bolsters the view of trustworthiness. In these are these are truly the words that were written down by the authors themselves. So it's that diversity that actually helps strengthens it and going out into the world. So that way you could say, oh, I know Rome has Romans. We only had a part of it, or it was copied over here. But you know, Jeb uh, was was riding his donkey a little too rough on the road, <laughs> and and Romans thirteen got a little messed up. I want to make sure I'm submitting to the government appropriately. Can, yeah, we, yeah. can we can we send a messenger over to Rome to to get the second one? And, yeah. and you see you see communi- communication within the early church addressing uh, these these type of things and, and calling um, calling leaders within Rome to to. Um, to uh, be sub- subject to the to the scriptures themselves, well, how can uh, Carthage do that when they're in Africa and Rome is in Rome? Yeah. Well, it's because they've had the ability to copy These and various scriptures and were out. spread out, and, yeah. and and they didn't say, oh, we, we all need to huddle up and, and figure out what's what what are the central role uh, themes and, and what what should we be saying and and are we sure that John is should really be there and 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 the um, that Matthew seems so different in in his presentation of, of who he's writing to. No, no, these are strengths and when they were written and who they were written by these, these help to, to um, ex- expand the, the Christian community yeah, and in give, the, the various parts right, of the Roman and, world. And they give various perspectives, right? Yeah. The early church understood that four historical sources are better than one, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. Because they give a, you know, a richer picture of Jesus than any one source could do. Right. 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 So uh, again, going back to the Quran, if, if you just had the words of the Quran as your only um, viewpoint of who Jesus is for them, a, 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 a high prophet, but a prophet nonetheless, you just have about 40 words in the Quran that tell you who Jesus is. <laughs> well, that's one, that's one perspective. And this, this giant prophet, according to Muslims is 40 words. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, here we have four gospels and <laughs> letters and uh, people who were followers of the way and that wrote about them and, 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 and spoke authoritatively, not, not in a controlling sense because <laughs> Christianity wasn't, wasn't the powerhouse. It was in hiding. It yeah, was persecuted yeah. right, even right. from the they early Yeah. Trying yeah. to escape being, yeah. I mean, the fire, <laughs> yeah, not even gardens. getting the 300, but just in the early uh, first part, because they're contending with both a, 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 a pre, uh, um, uh, fall, fallen temple area Jews that they're uh, caning and, and, and torturing and kicking them out of the cities, but also the Romans as well, because you don't want to upset the powers that be by saying that, uh, no, uh, Caesar isn't Lord. Jesus is the only Lord. Yeah. Ooh, you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> Heads will roll, if, That's right. if you will. And they did. But <laughs> yeah, very much so. So, yes, uh, there is a, a legitimate diversity uh, in the New Testament, but we must be careful to distinguish between diversity and and disagreement. Mm, Very yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we kind of covered this a little bit with our Jason Lyle book. So you can go back and listen to our first, uh, however many uh, episodes. Um, but this one is kind of talking from a bird's eye perspective, not so much getting in the details of, uh, you know, th- this verse says this, this verse seems to be saying something different. What gives? Uh, that That's for uh, another chapter. Mm. So to be sure, the New Testament presents varied historical perspectives that at, ty- at times call for harmonizations. And you have this 
no matter what happens, if you and I were down here and a plane fell into the to 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 the roof of the uh, the house, wow. we'd probably have different ways of saying the plane fell into the roof of the house. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about it. Yeah. That's the story. <laughs> and so figuring out it got Patrick and not me. Yeah. Be- <laughs> yeah. Oh, but but what Tony meant was it it, it crushed Patrick, but <laughs> but his foot got sca- uh, you know br- brushed up against. Right. Oh, so Tony's lying here. <laughs> well, it's harmonization. It's not. You're lying. Yeah. How dare you? That's right. Okay. That's right. You're absolutely yeah. wrong. And so th- yeah. this is the job of historians, and 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 not saying that Bart Ehrman can't have this perspective, and uh, probably actually drives better scholarship because of this this varying perspective. But to say that his perspective washes this all out and harmonization is is a folly, it it's it's un, it, you wouldn't do that with any other scholarship. In fact. Most historians probably desire and demand from from the 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 rocks and the ashes themselves. Can, can I get like one more copy of, yeah. of this book? Let yeah. alone, can I yeah. get two more people saying something about yeah. uh, you know um, uh, Hannibal crossing uh, the, the Alps with with <laughs> elephants? Yeah. I mean, that seems like a high. Uh, one person has written about that, and we're supposed to believe elephants, the Alps. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So, but if we have two or three people saying it, right, it and, helps. And yeah, 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 it gives you various perspectives, You'd want and that. now, yeah, it boosts it, especially boosts people the credibility, who would right? be close to 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 the action, who would hear the message over and over again, uh, who were trusted leaders within the community that they helped to establish. I mean, these these are important keys that we would want to see from uh, from an important historical perspective. Right, and just because they have different perspectives, right, doesn't mean that, you know, again, well, you know, there's disagreement. Right, right. right? Uh, there's just different perspectives because, you know, they emphasize different things, uh, you know, in a way that the other person didn't yeah. and that sort of thing. We're, we're watching The Dark Knight. You, you care more about the action, the fighting, and Batman punching things. I'm more about, oh, the Joker represents the duality of man or you know, <laughs> something along those lines. Right. So, so for you, the Batman was about the Joker. Yeah. And for me, it was about Batman. Right, exactly. Right? So we'll fight about it. Yeah. Write papers. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll keep you out of my circle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as a response to the claims, uh, t- uh, t- claim two that um, that uh, um, you know that uh, you have uh, this diversity that can't be um, can't be reconciled, right? This, um, and this and this idea of harmonization is bad, right? right. Yeah. So uh, the parallel accounts is, is part of the common ordinary role of any historian. Uh, that's going to be actually covered uh, uh, later as well. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll end here because the next ones are getting into the claims of, of this first part uh, of, of the chapter that the New Testament authors have contradictory points of view on major issues. And so what our authors do is they take these major views that, that Ehrman has and, and addresses them and, uh, right. and kind of gives an account of, of uh, answering um, some of his uh, his critiques here. Yeah, and, and it's kind of, I mean, they don't take all of them, right? They just give right. us a small sample so that they can, so we can see that indeed uh, what seems to be contradictory may not be contradictory once you are fair in your reading of the text. Right.